Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is assume that allele A is dominant over recessive allele A and B1 is co-dominant with uh, B2 in Petunia. A cross is made between two individuals of the following genotypes assuming that there is no gene interaction. The progeny will segregate in a phenotypic ratio of and you have to choose the correct answer. As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So let's first list again these genotypes that we cross. So parent 1 has genotype capital A, capital A, and capital B, 1, capital B, 2. And second parent is small a, small a, b1, b2. So we can say that uh, here we have parent 1, parent 2, and parent 1 can uh, produce following gametes. For example, in a gamete we can find dominant allele a, and allele B1, so A and B1. Another variant would be dominant allele A and B2, so A and B2. So parent 1 only can produce, as you see, these two variants of the alleles. As for the second parent, second parent can produce uh, one type of allele that is going to be small a and b1 and another type would be small a and b2 so small a and b2 now let's build simple Punnett square and find the genotypes phenotypes of the progeny. So here in the first cell genotype would be capital A small a and B1 B1. Here we have capital A small a and B1 B2. Here we have capital A small a and B1 B2 and here we have capital A small a and B2 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 B2. Now let's uh, think about uh, phenotypes. So here we listed our genotypes and this time let's say we have here two traits. The first trait is under control of the uh, gene A, which can be represented by two alleles. Let's say that dominant allele would cause in plants, uh, plants going to be tall, and recessive allele would cause that plants would be small. So, as you see, if we take a look at the progeny, 100% of the progeny going to be heterozygous, so would manifest uh, dominant phenotype. So 100% of all the progeny would be tall plants, because we don't see in the progeny genotype that is small a, small a, which would mean in this case small size plant. So now let's think about second trait, uh, which can be uh, produced by um, gene B and we also have two variants B1 and B2 and we also told that these two alleles B1 and B2 are codominant. Again, what codominant means? For example, if we have uh, say B1 allele would cause uh, flowers to be red 
then genotype B1B1 would make flowers that is going to be completely red. If allele B2 and genotype B2B2 would cause that flowers going to be, say, yellow, then this genotype would produce completely yellow flowers. But if genotype would be B1 and B2, because these two uh, alleles are co-dominant, we would see manifestation of both uh, colors in a flower. So we would see patches of red and also patches of yellow. This is going to be our flower that would manifest both colors. So now let's analyze what we see here. For example, B1, B1 would make uh, tall plants and flowers going to be red. And for example, genotype that is here, B2, B2, would produce tall plants and whose flowers going to be yellow and genotype which is here would produce tall plants and flowers going to be red and yellow so red and yellow and also here red and yellow so as you see uh, we are going to get one phenotype here, another phenotype here, and here is going to be yet another phenotype where we will have plants that is going to be tall and both uh, flowers going to be uh, patches of red and yellow. And ratio would be 1 to 2 to 1. So the correct answer is answer C. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.